And all day we've been checking in with cities and towns around the state to see how they're dealing with the snow, sleet and freezing rain. Channel 3's Susan Raff is at our winter storm desk with the very latest on that. Susan. Aaron Towns knew this storm was coming and they have done quite a few things to prepare for it. In Vernon, we were able to speak to them this morning and this afternoon. They're using all 10 of their trucks. The Public Works Department tells us it's been a snowing steadily pretty much, but now it is turning to rain. They didn't have much accumulation. That was late this afternoon. There is a parking ban there and they are working to clear some of the sidewalks. We spoke to crews in Torrington today, also a town that usually gets quite a bit of snow. They're using all 20 of their plow trucks. They've been treating the roads to keep them from freezing and to prevent some of the snow from sticking. The public works director has some advice for those who plow their driveways and then get annoyed because the snow plows or the state trucks seem to dump snow back onto their driveways. They're telling people to wait a little bit after the snow starts to dissipate a little bit, give it some time even then, and then go out and clear your driveway. That way um, you won't be frustrated when some of the state plow trucks start to put all that snow in your driveway. And in Middletown, 42 trucks are plowing the roads there. There's a parking ban, but the city doesn't want to do that in the downtown area because businesses, for the most part, are open, so they don't want to do anything to deter business, but they will clear a lot of the snow in the downtown area later tonight. The one thing, though, that's making a little bit easier across our state, and that is many schools are closed, and that means fewer people are on the roads. Coming up in the next half hour, what towns along the shoreline are dealing with and the concern about all this freezing rain. Mark, back to you.